Welcome to our VBA Tips and Tricks video. Today, we're tackling a puzzling question that many spreadsheet users encounter. Our viewer asks, how can you select only one column even when a merged range lies below it? Let's dive into the details. Welcome back to another technical video. Today, I'll be going through your question, answering it, and hopefully finding that solution you're looking for. Guys, remember to stay just a little bit crazy, just like me, and hopefully you work through to that resolution. Let's get started. Let's address the issue of selecting a single column in Excel when a merged range exists above it. First, we need to understand how Excel handles merged cells. When you manually select column E, Excel recognizes the merged range in D and F, causing it to select all three columns. This behavior is not a bug, but rather how Excel interprets merged cells. To select only column E via VBA, we can use the range object instead of the columns method. This allows us to specify exactly which cells we want to select. Here's how you can implement this in your VBA code. First, identify the current day, then select the corresponding column without affecting the merge cells above. By using the range method, you can ensure that only the desired column is selected, allowing users to focus on the specific day without interference from merged cells. Let's now look at a user-suggested answer. No, this is not a bug. When you select a column, it actually selects each cell from top to bottom. The select method isn't reliable, so consider what you really need it for. Instead of using merged cells, which can cause issues, consider using center across selection for a similar visual effect without the problems. If you want to highlight data, you can use a macro like this, range e7.interior.colorindex equals RGB 0, 0. Let's now look at another user-suggested answer. The user discusses how to select only one column in Excel, specifically column D, without affecting adjacent columns. They explain that while Excel allows this through the column header, VBA does not provide a straightforward way to select a single column when merged cells are involved. They tried various methods to select column D, but found that they all extended the selection to include merged cells. Ultimately, they applied changes directly to column D without selection, successfully adjusting its width and font individually using a loop. Let's now look at another user-suggested answer. To select only one column, you can define a specific range. Start from the row where the days begin and go to the last day row instead of selecting the entire column. Let's now look at another user-suggested answer. Pizza! 
To select a single column, even if a merged range lies below, first ensure your table is set up correctly. Then loop through each column in row 4 to check if the date matches today. If it does, use the application.goto method to scroll to that cell. Let's now look at another user-suggested answer. To hide a specific column with merged cells, simply use the command to hide the entire column without selecting it directly. For example, you can use the code columnsn.entirecolumn.hidden equals true. And that's it guys, we've gone through the solutions and I'm hoping that it resolved your issue. If it did, please hit the subscribe button, I'd really appreciate it. And until next time, I hope you have a good one. Cheers.